A hybrid Corvette is coming, and it's landing soon. Chevy has been teasing the upcoming addition to the Vet family, and we will know more next week. For now, though, it's interesting to see a bit more of what's in store for a model that should be quite divisive amongst the Corvette faithful. This new model is called the E-Ray, and it will debut on January 17th. For now, let's take a peek at what's around the bend. The E-Ray is a hybrid Corvette. It's gonna be a 2024 model, and it's also gonna have all-wheel drive. Many folks are speculating as to what will power the thing, and the consensus seems to be some manner of V8 engine paired with electric motors. That should result in a weight hit, but also plenty of great power. And the electric motors will help make sure the power is put down right from the jump. Still, it is a hybrid, and there's a way to run this thing quietly. Chevy has teased something called stealth mode, which we assume puts the V8 to sleep for a bit for some quiet time electric cruising. It's quite likely the E-Ray will follow in the footsteps of the Acura NSX in terms of powertrain placement and driving modes. Of course, it'll be a bit more fun to fire up the gas drinking portion in this one since, you know, V8 is great. Regardless, I'm quite curious to see how the VET faithful feel about this one. There were certainly some polarizing opinions when the C8 arrived with a new shape and engine layout. But that's to be expected when something so beloved and familiar undergoes such a drastic change. Even the C7 had some detractors when it arrived, but not me, that one is a good one. And if you can find a nice grand sport for a good price, I say go for it. Pop over to autotrader.com to see what's out there. With the C8, Chevy is evolving the Corvette. This mid-engine monster can grow in a variety of ways. The Stingray is a good starting point. The Z06 seems like an absolute beast. And the E-Ray sure seems like an excellent daily driver grand tourer type Corvette. And with the addition of electrification, there could be more wild models to come. Rumors have been swirling about a potential Megavet with 1,000 horsepower on tap. It would be cool to see that rumor come true. For now, I personally am excited to see the full details of the Corvette E-Ray. Sure, you'll hear some upset opinions when it arrives, but I feel like that's happened with every generation of the Corvette. People like the old tried and true, but they eventually come around to the latest and greatest too. While I will always prefer a Corvette with the driven wheels only out back, I can appreciate what might be possible with an all-wheel drive one. 